what's going on people we are back again with another freaking video and this one right here is all about tiffany in the most recent episode of the single life season three episode seven but of course before we get into it let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel that is a member of patreon and that is a subscriber as we continue to grow now with that being said though let's not waste any more time and see exactly what went down with tiffany mm -hmm. Today, I'm meeting up with Fabian again over brunch before he goes back to Jersey. I'm really excited to see him again today. But when we were on our day, he had mentioned that him and his previous partner broke up because he wasn't ready for kids. If he's not looking for anything serious, I'm not sure I want to be with Fabian. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How are you? Good. 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 How are you? I'm delighted that I actually came to visit. I didn't mind the drive, I didn't mind any of that. I want Tiffany to be part of my life, of course, and I would love to see her again and again and again. Ooh, thank you so much, that looks so good. You had fun last night? I did, but I was so tired. Last night you were be so mad at me. What happened? Put the roses down on the counter and I went to bed. Oh my God. I woke up today and the roses were like, <laughs> I still put them in water, I wanna see if they come back to life. So it's also, it's also gonna be a sign, if it comes back to life, then that means we're coming back to life. Yes. So, I don't want to waste time, you know what I mean? Like, I already know I, I enjoy being with you, hanging out with you, but there's some things that, like, I don't want to make the same mistake I've made before and ignore what things that it? could be big. Like, yesterday when you said that you and your ex, you guys separated because she kind of was ready to settle down. Is that going to be an issue for you because I have my kids? No, I get it. Well, let me explain this to you. I didn't want to make the same mistake where my mom had me as a young age. I want to offer something bigger, and I feel like I wasn't at that stage yet. But now I'm older. I'm more financially stable. I want to settle down. I want to have, you know, family of my own. I'm hoping you're not on top, though. Oh, time will tell. Remember that? I'll tell I you that? Speak louder than yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell you. Because it's like know. the best <laughs> answer yeah. ever. That's it. Hearing Fabian talk about how he's ready for a family, it definitely eased all the stress that that had caused for me. It gives me more hope that this relationship could have a future. And him being Latino does play a role because I've been with a guy for the last almost six years. Maybe I need a little flavor back in my life. I could move my... I just hope that he's being truthful and authentic and he's not saying it just to get a little bit of the kitty, if you dig what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Schedule around just to see you, but I want to know if you have the same time for me. We can make it work. Yeah? Okay, so I would like you to come actually to New Jersey. Do you see my salon? you see where I live? My life? I want you to feel like this is not just a fling. Can you give me that? Can you give me your time? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I mean, I'll, I'll, I definitely will come to you, but it's harder for me with the kids. Okay. Even when you when you've come here to visit me, you still gotta it's make some still time. hard because I gotta make time away from my kids because I'm not ready to I'm not ready to introduce them to anyone now for a while. So it's like this is a challenge, you know? Are you are you up for it? I mean, because I mean, it's hard. I was it's just gonna, gonna be hard. say, like in my end, also, even though I don't have kids, I do have to run a business. Time is what is priceless. If you give me the time, I have to cherish it. <laughs> you better. Yeah. You better. <laughs> I'll be fun. Trust me. This is definitely exciting for me because it's the next step for us. I feel like it's also a little bit stressful because I need to figure out, you know, my mom watching the kids again. And this is the, exactly the part of dating that like stresses me out. I'll get that. Thank you. Appreciate that. What I'm looking for is a partner and someone who treats me with respect, kindness, and love. And he's already doing a great job at that. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. Yeah, take me when you go home. Please. I will. I brought the scissors. What are we making, puppy? They're like little figures, I guess. I have like six of them now. Yeah? Yeah. Fabian invited me to visit him in Jersey and I need to talk to Daniel before I go because I don't like to hide things from him. Fold it like this and then twist it. See, now you got the leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's right, fine. You're, you're a beginner, so it's fine. So. Sorry. Being a single mom, no one has a book that tells you like what's the right way to do it. But I would much rather me tell him myself that I've begun dating versus him finding out on his own and feeling like he can't trust me. I wanted to mention something to you. Hmm. About, um, about the divorce and separation. It's hard. Yeah. It's a hard time. But I feel like you're always asking me, like, if I'm going to go on dates. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I'm always asking if you're going to go on a date or not because after you and dad separated, I just didn't trust anyone. Did you didn't trust anyone for me? Yeah. So you don't want me to date anyone? I do. It's just so you do slow want me to down a bit. First get to know them when you first started dating Ronald, then 
You just didn't even think about it. You just got straight into it. And then you found out his true side, and then, yeah. But you're absolutely right. Damn, this is a, this is one hell of an intelligent kid. Intelligent kid. I respect this kid, man. I respect him. Come on, son. <laughs> Let mama know. Let mama know she ain't been doing good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. This guy's got, he's got, like, an old soul or something because he's giving me, like, actual advice that, like, my adult friends give me. And it's crazy coming from a 12-year-old boy. I thought me and dad, when we got married, that it was going to be, like, forever. Everyone that gets married, they feel that way. Yeah. So I feel a little bit guilty. It's okay, mom. Just think next to guilt behind the separation with Ronald and I because I feel like that forced Daniel to grow up but I also know that it's not healthy to raise kids in a home where the parents are just staying together for the kids so if I told you I went on a date how would you feel I don't know are you dating I may have gone on a date take it easy I want you to find someone that's obviously nice yeah and that treats you good so sweet puppy. I'm definitely not going to introduce anyone to you guys for a long time. You get to know them first. Mommy won't make the same mistake again. I promise, okay? Okay. I feel like maybe I would, would like to help my mom with like, the person she wants to get with and would like to guide her maybe and tell her, you know, if this person's best for her, this person's not best for her. I want her to just have a smile on her face at all times. I'm really glad we had this talk, puppy. I am just dating, going on a date here and there, once in a blue, whenever I have time. But my priority is you guys, you and Carly, and our home, and everything. Right? Come give me a hug. I love you, buddy. I love you. Were you making glasses? I was making them for you, yes. Moving forward, I am hopeful that Fabian could be the right guy for me, but I want to make sure that this is going to be something long-term before I even think about introducing him to the kids. You ready? Oh my god. <laughs> Whoever it is that I date, I'm putting a lot on the line because it's not just me anymore. Let's clean this up. Okay. Wow, man, she is lucky to have a son that's 12 years of age and he's he's moving like that. The way he's talking is fucking. The way he's talking is 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 it's it, 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 uh, it, it, it's it's incredible. It's incredible to be honest with you. I'm I'm sitting there thinking to myself, bro, you're saying everything for me, man. Like I'm just like damn, like this whole video you made for me, like. It is coming in with all the answers. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, do you want to swap seats? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you come here, you do this. You give the advice, you give the opinions. Like, shout out, shout out, shout out, little man. Little man done his damn thing, man. So with that being said, I have nothing else to add, to be honest with you. I think uh, Tiffany's lucky to have a son that's um, open mind like that and also is very thoughtful towards her, you know what I mean? And uh, um, wants, to, wants the best for his mother. It's closed. But hey, man, you guys let me know what you're thinking down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace.